Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Children, your love life is being affected by children. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry you guys, I had to sneeze all of a sudden. Your love, this is the um, Romance Angel deck for any of you who want to know. All right, children are affecting your love life and worth waiting for. So for some of you all, I'm especially getting for the Divine Feminine, you are desire children, okay? Uh, for some of you all, the connection with your Divine Masculine, you have children with the Divine Masculine, okay? And if you and the Divine Masculine, obviously, if you have talked about wanting children, um, there's some sort of weight here, okay? Um, something you're waiting on, and it definitely has something to do with children. You could be trying to get pregnant, or, um, you know, if you're a male here, you, you know, you and your partner want to talk about, okay, true love. You want to give your relationship a chance and free yourself. So, there's a discussion. You guys could be having a discussion about children, or that this could be the reason for the separation if you're not talking to your divine masculine or your divine feminine, Okay. True love, this is a romance of a lifetime. So there's definitely a connection here um, that you all are trying to kind of wait it out and see how it's going to go, you know, how things will progress. Because I feel like you all have tried to obviously hear um, the energy that I'm getting and the cards that are coming out. You're trying to free yourself of a situation, right? You're trying to free yourself from the divine masculine, but um, you haven't been able to do that, right? Um, and then for some of you all too, if you do not have children, the message in it for you is that if you, um, you know, obviously you don't have children and you've been waiting a while, you know, something about timing. Okay. But it looks like to me, you know, for some of you all, you'll be getting back with the divine masculine. And for some of you all, there's new love coming your way. Okay. So let's just, let's just see here. Um, what else we need to know? Let's pull some messages from the um, Oracle deck and see what's coming up for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the energy here. Um, and subscribe if you're not if you're not a subscriber or if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you for your support. I love you. Let's see here. What does, oh, I am tripping, you guys. These cards are, like, so slippery. And I put some um, oil on my hands, and they're, like, really slippery. So let's find out what the messages are. What's going on with the Divine Masculine right now? What's going on with the Divine Masculine right now, Spirit Guys? Guardian Angels. Gossip. I've heard rumors about you that have been difficult to ignore, Okay. All right, let's see what else is coming up. So, obviously, some people are talking, right? I just got third party. Somebody's talking about somebody else or somebody who's seeing someone else. But whatever the Divine Masculine has going on, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of people involved. There are some things that aren't true um, that are being said, right? Some things that are being said. Here, let me move these cards. And I just... I'm feeling like aren't true, right? And it involves you. People are really kind of like putting your name in the middle of things that you really don't have anything to do with. I don't know who that message is for, but you know how it resonates for you. Take it how it does, okay? Let's see. Incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. Mm reconciliation so somebody your divine masculine could be thinking about coming towards you surprising you they're trying to work up the courage to 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 talk with you spark up a conversation maybe maybe you know even send that text message too because obviously um you know i think your name has come up in a lot of conversations here right um and this person just can't stop thinking about you or talking about you to your friends and divinely guided, right? So this is definitely a divine connection, right? We have a confirmation, divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, good. I mean, so this is good energy, you guys, so far. Let's see what else is going on with the divine masculine. Yeah, they miss you. If you are the divine feminine, the divine masculine definitely misses you. I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. Okay, 
not for you okay so you could be feeling like your person could be feeling like they're not for you um or they could have another party or obviously that's involved in the situation and they don't want to see you guys come together now whoever this person is obviously it's going to be different for everybody okay it could be a brother sister friend whoever it doesn't matter how far i run my heart always runs back to you so i i don't i think well, not I think. I know the Divine Masculine is missing you, obviously. They can't stop talking about you. You're coming up in conversations with friends and family. You know, you know, there's some reason, obviously, why you're, why the connection is incomparable. Obviously, because it's divine. This person probably tried to find you and somebody else. Or they thought the grass was greener on the other side, right? Everybody's story is going to be different. Yep, what did I just say? Competition. I get intimidated and nervous. Thank you, Spirit. Um, knowing you get so much attention. So somebody could feel like, you know, they have some options, right? You have some options. And honestly, I really feel like this other person has some options too. And they just aren't, the options don't measure up to you. All right, let's see what other messages come through. Okay. And look at what's on the bottom love triangle i've been seeing someone else and i'm having trouble choosing so like i said for some of you all it was competition um divine union there's your confirmation again you left every part of me untouched i now realize who you are they thought the grass was greener on the other side and flings i keep saying this you guys this person was definitely sleeping around or seeing other people or they're worried about you doing that right and they're definitely in their head about it and concerned about it. Your love has captured me. Everywhere I look, I see your face. So this person can, is they may have, you know, recently been um, enlightened to the connection, right? You know, um, realizing that it's a divine connection and that it's true love, but they've been burying themselves in work. Um, and focusing on their finances or they could feel like, you know, this could be you too. You could be just concerned about work and taking a break. Um, from the connection, but this person on the outside may act like, you know, this works for them or they don't miss you, right? Because we have missing you and reconciliation. So this person definitely wants to come back to you. All right. So let's pull some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle and see like what we don't know for you. So what what is the Divine Masculine not telling the Divine Feminine? What is the divine masculine not telling the divine feminine? And if you guys need a personal reading and this reading resonates for you, that link is below in the description box also. Oh, Lord. No, that's way too many. I want to feel that way again. Okay. Yeah, we know they want to feel a certain way again because they miss you. You know, they tried to get whatever they wanted what they got with you with somebody else sometimes i stay awake thinking about you that's this all in my head energy that we saw right the the gossip they're talking about you all the time you know all in their head burying themselves in work acting like they're fine and they're really not and they can't stop thinking about you and they miss you you came closer to me than anyone. Yeah, like I said, you they are realizing that there's obviously something special about the connection, right? I think we're definitely seeing that here. Um, I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, so for some of you all, whatever this person did, they knew they were wrong. Wrong for maybe having you in a um, competition with other people or bringing a third party into the situation. We will be together again. Yeah, so just know that there is reconciliation coming to you. So if you weren't expecting that, if you haven't already heard from them, you will hear from them. I wish I could share my good news with you. So this person could have gotten a new job. They could have started a new business and they really want kind of like just want to talk to you about like what's been going on in their life. But they can't. They can't pick up the phone and call and talk with you for some reason. They may feel guilty about whatever they say. Oh, look, as soon as I said that, I looked down and this other car was here. I regret lying to you. Yeah, they feel guilty. That's why they haven't called you to tell you. You know, they want you back or an apology is coming. Yeah. I wish I had treated you better. What did I say? An apology is coming. Seriously. Yeah. 
Thank you, Spirit. Let's get some more messages for the divine. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. So for some of you all, you know, the divine masculine is in the runner position, right? The runner position. And they feel you leaving them behind. They can feel a shift in the energy, you know. I don't, yeah, they could definitely feel that. I wish things could be different. So like I said, this is four cups, five of cups, like regretful, regretful energy. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a younger Cancer sign is what I just got. For some of you guys, okay, let's see what the T is and the situation, what's going on with them. All right, what are the blockages? Uh, the current energy and blockages between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, please. Spirit. Yeah, they definitely are wallowing in like self-pity. Like, seriously, self-pity. And for some of you all, you could have a child with this person, too. But I don't think you all are wallowing in self-pity right now. For some of you all, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, You could have some people on social media. Be careful, you guys, if you're dealing with a friend that's not really a friend. Maybe it's a friend. Remember, we had gossip here. So the divine masculine could be dealing, or you, right? Because this is the these are this is the energy between the two of you all. Somebody's got a fake friend. Somebody that you think is your friend really isn't your friend. Or your the divine masculine could have somebody who's a friend, like who they think they're sharing their business or telling their business to. Talking about like what's going on between the the two of you guys. Maybe this person. Um, saw something on social media that sparked up this conversation i feel like but whoever this friend is like they you you might be telling them one thing and this person is going back and telling somebody else a totally different story and then this person could be have a lot of followers or something on social media playing games someone doesn't know how to stop playing games messing around immature and doesn't want to grow up Okay, so that could be this fake friend. So just be careful. Ghosted, ignoring you, not calling or texting somebody back and avoiding a confrontation. So, I mean, you could you could have, um, obviously, there's no communication right now, right? You know, maybe there's no communication because whoever this other person is involved in this situation, um, air sign, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. So I'm feeling you could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. And there's definitely some other people involved in this situation. Maybe for some of you, the third party could have been a friend. I don't know. Um, or could have introduced this other person to a friend that, that was somebody like was a friend of a friend. This gossip also could have been for some of you could the gossip could have came from the fake friend like we said earlier oh moving new house relocating leaving someone or something behind could be leaving this air sign behind some of you all you physically had to move away from this person some of you all this could have been a roommate i'm also getting that there's a roommate involved and you could be moving um out of the house or the apartment with the roommate um, cause this person just was telling your business and not being honest and telling the truth. For some of you, this is you simply just moving on from this drama. Okay. Because the divine feminines are really not, kind of really not in that energy right now. Okay. But somebody's moving out of a house somewhere. Pick me energy. Willing to do anything for approval of the opposite sex. Willing to embarrass or throw somebody under the bus to achieve this goal. So whoever this fake friend is, this is somebody who really likes attention, you know, from the opposite sex, right? Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. They threw you under the bus just to look good. Controlling. Someone thinks they can control the situation, people in general. Yeah, this is somebody who is manipulative. This is a manipulative energy. Somebody who's purposely telling people lies. Clingy. Somebody that cannot let you go. All right, so this person could be, you see how this is two, two women, 
right? The same sex. So maybe whoever this person is that did this to you, this fake friend that's gossiping that you're probably moving for, on from or just like not talking to or you block them and you're not talking to them. Um, this person is probably going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry and make up an excuse to talk to you. Okay. Now, if, it's, if this is the divine masculine in this energy, which I'm feeling like it's not, I'm feeling like it's somebody on, in this third party or around the two of y'all. You know what I mean? What else? What else here? Yeah. And then somebody's a gold digger and they use people and they like to control people for fun or they're only concerned about like what they can get out of the situation. Or like I said, this person did this to get attention because it was really all about them. They threw you under the bus to look good. And look at that, twin sister, copying someone for their work ideas, how they dress, act, and talk. So some of you guys are really dealing with somebody who, I don't like this, I don't like this bullshit. I don't like this energy, I don't like this bullshit. There's somebody here in your in your group circle, you guys. Just be mindful of that. That I just feel like you can't trust. Who's obviously in the middle of this connection between you and the divine masculine or you and the divine feminine. All right, let's see what the divine masculine wants to say to you, right? Spirit, what does the divine masculine want to say? To the divine feminine. Hmm. For some of you all, the divine masculine could have warned you or tried to warn you about this person. This is like some single white female situation. That's crazy. Y'all let me know how it resonates for you in the comments. Hmm. All right. What does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine? I only ask that you never forget me. So they kind of, I'm looking like to me, that they feel like you aren't talking to them. You're just ready to walk away. You know, you're just ready to walk away. I can't tell you goodbye. Yeah. They're not ready to move on. Homewrecker, breaking up. I don't even know how this card got in this deck. Breaking up a family, having affairs, doesn't respect boundaries. So, like I said, third-party situation here for some of y'all. It's different for everybody. Divine Masculine said, I remember when we used to talk every day. I miss that. Yeah. Like I said, you guys are not talking. I just wanted you to know how much I care for you. I mean, I really think you know the divine masculine cares for you. I think if you, if there was a third party situation here, I think that made you be in your head about it, question it, right? You were in my dreams last night. This person is up at night thinking about you. They want to come back towards you. They We saw missing you and in, in, incomparable. I love you all too much. So the divine masculine is not ready to let you go. Okay, so there's going to be another conversation. You are a craving that I never satisfied. That I never satisfied? Okay. I'm scared of losing you. Yeah. Now is not the right time. We did see worth waiting for, right? Divine timing is at play here for sure. I'll never be what you want me to be. Let's get one more message. All right. Uh, these cards are mixed in. You're always in my thoughts. Let's see what this one is. We know rich, having abundance, material wealth, financial stability, and security. The divine masculine or divine feminine, your person could have come into some money recently, um, or they could be well off. You know, it'll be different for everybody. Uh, or you are well off, right? You know, you you are like emperor, empress energy here. You've got your, your shit together. You know, you guys are doing good. That's the energy that I'm getting. You really don't have to ask anybody for, for much, for really anything, honestly. I feel like you guys are really independent. Let's see here. This is the Light Seers deck. I'll pull some cards and see... Um, 
how you feel about the situation. All right. How does the divine feminine feel about this situation with the divine masculine? All right, let's see. Whoa. The lovers. Okay, you could be dealing with the Gemini here. Don't have to be. This it's a passionate, attractive. It's a passionate, attracting. Could be dealing with a Leo. There's a strong, passionate connection here. Strong physical connection. And you know, you when you met him, you knew divine feminine. When you met the divine masculine, you knew this was immediately like a divine counterpart or a soulmate because I'm immediately drawn to this um, infinity signal. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo. Uh -oh. And for some of you all too, this could be a twin flame. For uh, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo and the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see this Ace of Wands. Like I said, strong, strong physical attraction. Strong sexual attraction. I think for some of you all, I think def you want to work on it with the Divine Masculine, okay? I'm just going to say it like that. You want to work on it. One part of you wants to work on it and the other part of you is like, is it worth it? You know, one part of you is like, should I, for some of you all, you know, this is you like saying, looking the other way, saying, you know what? I think I'm just going to focus on my finances and my career right now. I'm going to, you know, because you might have a choice in between, you know, not might, but you will because the lovers is about a choice. You know, the choice could be for you is would just be to just move on and focus on your career, you know, but. A new beginning here is you're thinking about it for sure. You you think about it just as much as the divine masculine does. Four of wands is like you're thinking about the past. You know, look how the hermit, right? How she's looking at. You could be up late at night thinking about the divine masculine and like what the two of you had. For some of you all too, you could have been thinking about, you know, this friendship, like you thought this person was your friend or you missed something about the good times about that situation, right? That's a small little message that I got here too. But I think you're just like looking, some of you might be looking up Twin Flame stuff, like what that means. Um, I mean, you could be thinking about having a home, you know, maybe even moving in with this person or you were thinking about it how it was if you lived with this person at one point you could be missing that too okay bottom of the deck is the devil could be dealing with a capricorn also too somebody could be looking at a family situation reevaluating a family situation because the eight of pentacles is about evaluating something right and then the hermit is like this introspection or the need for another perspective. So somebody here could be reevaluating a situation about a home or a family. But it's something toxic about the situation or some sort of attachment or codependency. Maybe even some manipulative behavior. Or somebody's, you know, I see a lot of bickering and a lot of other stuff happening here too, though. Maybe in that home. Um, let's see. Let's pull some. So we got some for let me pull some messages for twin flames if you think this is your twin flame, okay? What are the messages for the divine masculine and divine feminine? Twin flames. Messages. I catch myself. Uh oh, two minutes. 
I catch myself in deep thought about you and it stresses me out. Yeah, at night too. Why are you so stubborn? Hold on, you guys. All right, sorry, sorry about that, guys. So, um, obviously, like I said earlier, there's somebody here that's really stubborn. Uh, but I see why after seeing, like, I don't know who this other person is, <clears throat> this other third party energy. So, and, and apparently they are posting stuff to social media for you to see, okay? And also to, um, literally they're doing that. So this person could have like a fake account or something and they're just being nosy. These telepathic conversations get in my feelings. I don't know what that means. I guess, you know, obviously if you have a divine connection with somebody with a divine masculine, like, um, the energy between the two of you guys, especially if, like I said, it's a twin flame connection, that definitely does exist. Stop reaching out if you don't plan on changing shit. <laughs> I think that's you. I definitely think that's you. So I'm gonna, when I say you, I mean the Divine Feminine, okay? Um, I'm gonna, let's see what your advice is. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Cause this is, I think it was like 25 minutes long. What is the advice for the divine feminine in this situation, please? Release. Okay, so it's summer for, for most of you, it's meant for you to release it and move on and um, forgive this person. Even if they come to you and apologize, you, you, you need to just release it and forgive them and then be open to some change because there's something new probably coming in for you overcome obstacles and then there was something about the connection that was meant for you to learn some sort of lesson um because especially if this is twin flame um you, you there's something here that you need to gain a lesson or of some sort of strength or something that you're supposed to be figuring out okay and then you learning whatever this lesson is and then staying dedicated to like kind of blocking that toxic energy is what's going to bring in what this new thing is for you and there's a decision okay that was the lover's card we talked about that earlier and then acceptance so accept the past and the current situation that's the lesson understand that it was meant to obviously bring whatever lesson and that lesson is going to be different for everybody so just apply it where it resonates and um hit the like button you guys I love you, and this is going to be your reading.